Okay. Hi, Ani. Hi, Francis. So, Ani, tell us about yourself. Is Ani your favorite suitor? Yeah. Yeah? Why? Because he's awesome. He is? What makes him awesome? He does a lot of math and helps a lot with the practice tests and in school. You go to him for? Two hours every Wednesday. Is it worth it? You like it? Yes. Okay, good. All right. And what did you learn about Ani just now? Uh, that he graduated from Stanford and he's in Yale right now. He's a sophomore. That's awesome. All right, Ani. So tell us all about yourself. Well, as these guys said, uh, my name is Ani. I graduated from Stanford High School in 2011. I was fourth in the class. I'm under the class of 900 and something students. Uh, currently, I'm a sophomore at Yale University, but I'm taking this semester off and working in the city. I have a couple of internships, and in my free time, I'm a tutor at Queller Prep after work and on weekends. I do one-on-one -on -one tutoring. I go to the home and help prepare for a variety of exams, the Hunter exam, the Stuyvesant exam, the SAT. Uh, my qualifications, as Francis likes to brag about, are that I got a perfect score on the SAT. I don't know if I brag, but look. Oh, wait. See that? Perfect 800 scores. As well as a couple of other SAT2 exams as well. So I guess what we want to know is how did you, what's your guidance? Let's go one test at a time. Let's begin with the SAT. What is your guidance? How did you obtain a perfect 2400 on the SAT test? Well, I suppose it's a lot of work that you have to put in. Uh, you read up for the to break it down by section, for the critical reading section, you want to read a lot, you want to read a lot above your current reading level, not just what you do in school, but also have your own personal book, read the paper. What did you read? What type of stuff? Journal, that sort of stuff, things that you wouldn't normally read at school. Things that are challenging, again, at an elevated level, so you can encounter things that you wouldn't normally encounter, a vocabulary you wouldn't encounter, a writing style that you wouldn't encounter. And the more you read, the more you can incorporate this into your own writing as well. So this will also help with the writing section. Uh, writing as much as you can in your free time, keeping a journal, incorporating this new vocabulary, this new writing styles into your own will really help you develop your style as well and will help you write a better essay. Uh, for the SAT essay, there are certain tricks that they ask you. It's not about writing a good essay, so to speak, not a good school essay, but writing a good SAT essay. Uh, and if you come to Quella Prep for personal tutoring or group tutoring, uh, you will learn those tricks as well. From you. And um, just moving forward, you teach for a variety of exams. You yes, went to Stuyvesant. Your brother went to... My brother went to Hunter. Uh, which is rated as the top public school. It's public private. So there's a, it's not exactly a public school per se. It's originally designed for gifted students. It was... Um, still is. All right. So you, uh, what advice would you give to the Hunter High School students who are preparing for this exam? For the Hunter High School students, I guess the advice that I would give is one, don't stress yourself out. You're still very young. You, there are plenty of high schools to go to if you don't get into this one. That being said, this is one of the best schools in the city and you want to get in. You want to do the best you can. Uh, in terms of preparing for the exam, there are going to be lots of challenging things that you wouldn't have encountered before, as you will be in the sixth grade. You're going to find math at a level maybe one, two, so maybe three years above you, depending on certain school systems. Uh, for the critical reading section, again, this is going to be critical reading comparable to the SAT level that students in their junior and senior years of high school are going to be taking. So I guess my first advice would be don't freak out if you're just taking your first practice test and you don't do very well because Again, you aren't expected to, you aren't expected to fully know all of this material. You won't have learned it in school already, depending on your curriculum. So, however, you will learn it at Color Prep if you come for tutoring and group or one-on-one -on -one tutoring. And uh, last but never least, uh, in preparation for the Stuyvesant High School exam, which is the connotation for the test, the uh, SHSAT test. What guidance can you offer along a similar vein for the best way to get ready for that test? The best way to get ready for that test is 
to do a, a lot of practice exams. Again, this is going to be material that you will have already pretty much encountered uh, in school at your current level. I guess you would be in the eighth grade at that time. So all the material that would be on the exam, you would have learned in school. However, it is going to be offered to you in different ways. You'll be questioned in ways that you may not have already been questioned. Uh, it's just a multiple choice exam. Your raw score, depending on how many questions you get right, will fully determine what specialized high school you get into. Uh, so it's really just a trick and it's an exam and test taking. You want to do as well in this exam. And again, Coiler Prep offers you the tools and the resources to learn to do well in this exam. That's awesome. That's great to know. Um, one more. You took a series of SAT2 subject tests. Um, which ones did you take? Which ones, uh, how did you know which ones to take? Because there's so many to choose from. Well, the way I decided on which exams I would take was pretty much uh, dependent on the courses that I took throughout the year. At the end of my freshman year, I had just completed a biology course, so with the material fresh in my mind. I took the SAT2 in biology. At the end of my sophomore year, I took a chemistry course, so I did the same for chemistry. And after my junior year, I had completed enough math to have learned everything I needed to know for the Math 2 exam, as well as a US history, as well as US history, which I took that year, and took those SAT2 exams as well. So what's your, what's your favorite thing? What have you learned from Ani? What's uh, my favorite thing is a different form of algebra that I can't remember the name. That, um, that I didn't learn in school, that I found very challenging before, but now I understand it and can work out problems involved. That's great. So you're doing better in school now, too, yeah. not just in preparation for the test, right? And what do you feel that you learned from Ani today? Uh, I feel that he's a well-prepared man. <laughs> Is he boss? Yeah. Okay, awesome. Thank you. Thank you, honey.